March the 28th, Backyard Farming, Florida. I'm going to talk today a little about uh, hydroponics again. Also going to uh, work a little bit on another project. I put a screen door on here to cool things off a little bit. It's overcast today and kind of rainy. <clears throat> you can see now the inside temperature is 75, about 75 degrees. I took the external sensor and put it underneath this uh, reservoir. <clears throat> you can see it's saying that it's about 67 degrees. I also have a little dial thermometer in the, uh, I had the pump running, if you can see that or not, but it's 70 degrees, uh, the water temperature. And like I stated last time, I do have a, an algae problem that was going on. So I went ahead and put the half-inch insulation uh, on that clear plastic tube. Also, uh, put some bleach into the reservoir, and so you can see now that everything's pretty well cleaned up. And I, I was going to plan on... Uh, doing some upside down tomato plants uh, but instead of that I've decided to do something uh, it's called an earth box and uh, this is what you'd need if you were interested in trying to build uh, one for tomatoes I'm going to use these five gallon buckets uh, paint buckets I got these at Home Depot it takes two buckets for each plant you'll need uh, one lid uh, for each uh, for each plant, and you'll need some potting soil, uh, some lime, and a, either 888 or 101010 uh, fertilizer. You'll also need a, some PVC pipe. I'm going to use some one-inch pipe here for the uh, fill tube, and also some of the little Dixie little plastic cups. Uh, you'll need one of those for each one. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting this together, and as I as I do each part of it, I'll uh, detail it here in the video so you can uh, copy it. If you'd like, though, you can also buy these things pre-assembled uh, from earthbox.org or earthbox.com. They have a real nice uh, uh, package deal that you can just go ahead and buy that has everything you need if you're not inclined to do it yourself. Alright, I've already made the uh, the parts and pieces to put this together. It's pretty simple to do. You're going to need a <coughs> complete bucket bottom. Then you'll need a, a piece, uh, your bucket fixed up like this. See, I drilled uh, a hole for the uh, water filler pipe. And then the plant will actually uh, go through the larger hole here. Look down through here, and you can see uh, build a little pattern in here. And what we're basically going to do is put the cup in here. It's going to fit in here, so we'll have water uh, just in the bottom of it. And then we'll seal off the top of it. It'll be a sealed container, and we'll feed water through the. Uh, PVC tube. You cut that cutter tube uh, like I have here, uh, or you can drill some holes in the bottom of it, whatever. But ultimately, uh, you're going to end up with something like this. Now the cup will end up protruding out of the bottom, 
and uh, we'll fill that with soil, potting soil. So you need to put some holes in here or cut some slits. Uh, if you have a soldering iron, uh, you can uh, very easily punch some holes in here. Basically the same way I did the uh, hydrophonic uh, holders also. You can get a cheap soldering. You don't need a weller. <laughs> you know, a cheap one at Radio Shack. Anyway, just put you some holes in here. And the next thing we'll do is we'll uh, mix up the uh, potting soil and actually put the plant in here. got one more drilling that you need to do and uh, you need to drill a drain hole so that uh, the water wow we're having quite a breeze here today um, you can measure the distance from here to here is three inches on this particular bucket and you can see I drilled the hole just a little below that so you want to you want to go ahead and uh, mark that. You know, put you another drain hole on the other side. Again, you look at the inside of the bucket. That's what it should look like. Then you need a couple other buckets for potting uh, soil. Uh, You're gonna mix some things up. Uh, you go out and get some compost uh, to mix with the potting soil. Mix a little lime in the very top part of it uh, since we're going to grow tomatoes in this. So.